Hello, friends. Welcome to uh, your art video um, on trains for our last week of school. So let me go ahead and share my uh, screen here. Let's look at some real pictures of trains here. All right. So many different parts uh, to trains. If you've ever seen, uh, been driving in a, a car with somebody and we had to stop and wait for the train to go past, or maybe you just saw one. I'm going past trains can be very long and they are made out of very many different types of cars it all depends what that train's job is so uh you can see here here's an example of an engine that's the front of the train that uh makes the train go it's pulling all of the other cars okay and then um here's an example of a box car Okay, boxcars can carry all kinds of different things inside of them. And right in the middle there, that's a sliding door right here. They can slide that door right open and uh, you could fill the boxcar with all kinds of different things. Um, let's see, over here we've got a, this is called a hopper car right there. Uh, a hopper car. Um, there are, they're a bit like boxcars too. They can hold a whole bunch of things, but instead of holding things that, that might already be packaged up, they uh, a lot of times hold things like coal or uh, like um, grain, like corn or something like that. Something that can be like poured and dumped into the top of that, uh, that hopper car there. And you usually can see like a pile of the stuff that it's hauling sticking over the top there. Like we see the coal right there. All right, and uh, then of course we have our tank cars um, down here. Those are what they use to, well, let me change a color that shows up a little better. Those are what they use to uh, haul things that are liquid or like gases, kind of like air, right? You can fill that tank car, but uh, there's no way for the, the stuff inside of it to get out or, or leak at all. So. Um, anything from like oil or milk, um, they might put in a, in a car like that. Um, and then of course, a passenger car. That's for uh, people who are riding the train. I don't know if anybody's ever taken a train ride or been on a passenger car, um, but they can look, um, there's many different styles for all of these, but there's definitely an example right there of a common uh, passenger car. So we are going to go ahead and uh, draw our own trains for our work today. And I'm, I'm using uh, some of the ideas of Ed Emberley, who was an American illustrator. I was best known for a bunch of how to draw books that he did for kids. Uh, the one there with the green dragon on the front. I had that book when I was a kid. Um, and uh, we are actually, uh, some of the directions I'm showing you are variations of, uh, uh, Ed Eberly's book, little book of, of uh, drawing trains, uh, which you see another picture of right there next to the drawing book of animals. So uh, there you see on the left, that's a page from Ed Eberly's uh, train book. And on the right is a worksheet that I made uh, for us to do today, uh, which you can all work right along with. And I'm gonna switch right to my um, desktop camera here. And I'm gonna do each one of the kind of uh, train cars step by step here. So let me end my screen share and switch over to my other desktop camera. There we go. Let's straighten this out and get some, make it so it's straight here. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna get a little lower. I'm gonna be a little more close up. So I'm gonna start with the, uh, yeah, I'll start with the top one here. That's the locomotive engine that I'm doing here. This top one here, that's got the little picture of me waving and I'm gonna use a marker. I recommend doing pencil uh, for yours to start, but you could, um, the marker is gonna show up uh, better. So first thing I'm gonna do from these two dots here, draw a line connecting those two top dots. 
And then I'm gonna draw a line connecting the two bottom dots. That's the bottom of the train engine. Now I'll put the back of it right here. And this part is tricky. I'm gonna go from this dot to that dot, but not in a straight line. I'm gonna do like a curved line. It's gonna be like a curve. Watch how I do it. It goes up and I'll start to curve and land right on that dot. There we go. Then my next step, see that dot out the front there? That's the, the front light of the train. So it lights up the track at night. Just go like that. All right, now, uh, next step, I need to make the windows, which is going to be like a rectangle that I do to about there. And skinny rectangle, real skinny one. That's a hard one to do. All right, and then you can make lines right on the lines on the paper uh, for your windows. Now, I'm going to add the wheels. And it's up to you how many wheels you want. I put uh, six wheels on my engine just because it needs to be super powerful to pull all the rest of the train. But you could just put four if you want to. Um, but there we go. The wheels just go right at the bottom there. And then when we're done with that, we can color. You could even add a stripe if you want. I'm going to add a cool stripe on my engine, make a line there, and then I'll curve it down like that. Ooh, that looks cool. And then I could go ahead and color that in. Um, but I'm gonna jump right ahead now to show you how to do a hopper car. You can draw right along with me. First, we'll do that line. That's the top of the train car. Then I'll do a line from this dot to that dot and it's going to go through some other dots there we go now i'm not going to just make straight lines yet i'm connecting those dots i'm going to go back to those dots that i had over here that i went through already <clears throat> and i'm going to make a straight slanted line like a diagonal line from that dot to that corner up there So just trying my best. It's tricky. Let's try my best. All we can do is try our best, right? And our trains are going to look cool anyway. And now, after I've got those slants, that's the shape of the hopper car. I'm going to I'll make a line coming straight down. Make my skinny little ladder. Add some lines on the ladder there. And then I'll do that on this side too. That's the ladder so they can get up inside the hopper to clean it out and stuff when they're done emptying out the coal and all of that. There we go. Now I just need to add, ooh, I almost forgot. The top of the back end of all of our things, we need to put a line coming out the back and then you can put a little circle or a little dot on the back of that. That's gonna hook us up to the next train in our drawing but uh, let's go back to my hopper car. I'm gonna do those right away so I don't forget. There we go. And then I'll do one on this side. There we go. And now all I need to do is um, add my wheels. And I'm just putting four wheels under all the rest of my train cars. There we go. I've got my wheels, awesome. And now I could color in that slanted part and I'm gonna color that in actually um, so you can see uh, how that works because it can be a little hard to tell. I'll color it in black so it shows up really well, but otherwise it's hard to tell which parts of this drawing to color because we're not gonna color in between, you don't have to, between the ladder and the, the slanted side of the hopper here. That's just like air. You can see right through that part. There we go. All right, let's go to our next train car. It's going to be a box car. 
Just make a straight line all the way across that just went through all of those dots that I had in the middle there. And then I'll do the same on the bottom, connecting those far away dots on the bottom. And now I'm going to make straight line up and down, connecting the corners. Boxcar is just a big rectangle, right? Do that. And now I'll connect these dots that were in the middle, up and down. That's the door of my boxcar. And I put a little latch on the door there. And next I'm going to add a, I'll put a ladder on one side of my boxcar so you can climb up to the top of it. And then of course I need to make the connectors on the end of my train and then my wheels underneath there. And I'll show you something fun. Um, sometimes in a boxcar, the door is closed. This is a closed door boxcar. If you want the door open, if you just color that in, it's gonna look like the door is open. It's very dark inside of a boxcar, but you could also, you could make, some you could show what is inside of the boxcar there. You could uh, make uh, some people hitching a ride on the train, even if you want. All right, now next, let's do our passenger car. Connect those two top dots, those bottom dots, and then add the edges. It's like a big rectangle, just like a boxcar was first, but now there's windows in the passenger car. So I'm gonna connect these dots to those dots with a line. And then I can just use the lines right on the worksheet to separate all my windows. And then in the directions there, I have a, a door on each side of the, the passenger car, but like the one, the passenger car we looked at in our slides, it just had a door in the middle. So you decide where you want the door to be. Um, I'll make this one just like the one in the directions on the worksheet, but you could make a door in the middle if you want instead. All right, next, I'm gonna make a little step coming down. This is a short little rectangle under the door that it's gonna help people step up to get inside of the train. And then train wheels. And of course, the connectors. And then I'll color that in to show you uh, where, which parts are color and which parts would be the, uh, the windows. And maybe you could draw people in those windows, right? People who are in the seats. So this, this passenger car, has two doors, one on each end of the car there. But there you go, you could also write, draw a little people inside there. People looking out the windows, right? This one's gonna have a hat on. There we go. All right, so lots of fun stuff uh, you can do there. Um, that's how to do a passenger car. Okay, so there you go. And you can also see some directions if you wanna try it's pretty tricky to do a tank car. There's some directions right along the bottom of the sheet. All right, friends, I'm going to end our video here. And uh, let me switch back to my face camera. And good luck, uh, train artists.